for me, it's simple. It's teamwork and having representatives of teams from different areas of functions, mm. regions, countries. That's how we break the barrier. We want to be integrated into the decision. We want to be informed about decision. We want to be informative about the decision. But most importantly, we want to be independent. That idea of actually we are there as the last kind of bastions if, if something is not right to be able to challenge that. And the board and the exec expect us to do that also. We have the competence, we have to open the eyes and so what is the organization trying to do and understand the risk, the nature of the risk and help the, the decisions to be made to protect people, to, to, um, to, to have a better business. We all started in safety professional for some reason and I mm. think we've learned a lot about the organization, processes, management system, cultures. And I think we, you know, our responsibility is to, 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 to apply it. Mm, that's so true. I, I, mm -hmm. you know, like many of us worked for safety for 30 years and it's only really in the last three or four years I actually started to tell people, you know, why was I worked in safety? Yeah. And it was like many of us, it was a very tragic incident. Yeah. But we, we, that, that's our cornerstone, that's our touchstone. We must never lose that. In our case, it would be uh, that safety can always, always be a, a mirror in which you can look both positive and but also negative mm -hmm. way so still to have this police officer who's telling that you don't behave in the right way but also be uh, the uh, messenger of, of positive news so sharing good behavior yeah. promoting good behavior and and especially focusing on this leadership issue uh, so are you a good leader in safety do you really set the example be an example do you realize that the standard you set in the organization is the is the highest standard for the organization. We should never lose sight of the benefits of managing safety well. Mm -hmm. And those could be many benefits. It's going home at the end of the day, it's good commercial management, yeah. it's lots of things. But but never lose sight of the benefits of why we're here and managing safety well. And above all, keep it simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah true. That's we right. can make things astonishingly complicated yes. sometimes. Yeah. So true. And if you want to turn people off safety, make it complicated. Make it complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.